and really a lot of energy coming in, Coach Ronnie, dahil uh, batang bata talaga. Yun yung, yun yung storyline natin for this game, these teens coming off high school and college. Exactly. Alam mo, pinapanood ko pa lang sila kanina habang uh, yung five-setter was unraveling in front of the rice. Yung excitement was all over their faces. Tatlong service errors para sa Santa Rosa, dalawa naman para sa Ateneo. Kaya ang bilis ng rotation ng mga mm. nagsiserve eh. We were doing a count nung last game. Eh. Umabot sa 20 plus service errors in total. Sa haba ba naman ng laro yun? Halos tatlong oras yun eh. <laughs> oh, and Disquedado drops it right in. Disquedado number eight among the best attackers with an attack rate of about 42%. Coming off kill blocks. Mm. That's uh, right. And for a setter, no, medyo may height din itong si, si Baldos. So he's only in high school. <laughs> fearless eh. Lalaki pa yan. It is a discutado. In one article, uh, Mark Espejo, he praises on uh, discutado because of the way he plays. Perhaps Mark uh, remembers how he started. But yeah. definitely we'll see a lot more of this young man. Yeah. That was against a triple block in double figures para dito sa Ateneo, talking about Gian Salarzon. Then serving 11. Baldos inangat. The combination play in discutado drops it right in. This is a very cohesive unit. Experience lang ang kulang nito mga to, but they are getting maximum exposure. Dumikit na eh, nagtabla na kanina, pero namigay na naman sila ng libreng puntos. Kaya nga sila nakabalik, dahil hindi na sila nagtatapon. But uh, in terms of uh, attacking, at least in the last two sequences, that has been their problem. And that is to the advantage of uh, Labrador and the rest of uh, the Sea Lions, or City Lions. Hernandez had to set that up. Disquitado went up. Grabbing adjustment, yeah, no? Ang layo ng pinanggalingan. Normally, those who command the triple block, they're really experienced players. But this young man.